tied up with all of the ways that'll carry you. Incredible conditions out here. The wind so far has been right. I'm so stoked I've made it out to, to Lake Argyle. Always wanted to do this. Definitely been a bit of a bucket list thing. As far as the eye can see, not a drop of wind. It's meant to be like this tomorrow and the next day, so. So just over here, we've got this like island that's pretty much the size of a, maybe a football field with, you know, 20, 30 meters high as well. Tiny little island and sitting on the end uh, of the rocks enjoying his soon-to-be sunset is a beautiful little rock wallaby you know this island is uh he's all this guy this whole dam was commissioned um in 1971 so he's been on that island since 1971 so is his family he's probably fifth generation rock, rock wallaby there uh you know whatever he's got on that island is his food his shelter everything whatever washes up is is all he's got so it's just a matter of eating sleeping probably um, Shag and his, his relatives, uh, his siblings or whatever, and, uh, and continuing the uh, family cycle. <laughs> I better quickly find a camp, a bit of flat ground, because as it is, I don't have one, and I need to find one before dark. They've probably got about half an hour tops. So I pack this back up and, uh, and keep searching. I need to tell you what, these dead trees here <laughs> are just, an absolute family of golden orb spiders. <laughs> oh, holy shit. It's just all big spiders. Oh my God. This is definitely some people's worst nightmare. Tap on my feet and it warms us up inside We are all shaky We are all fried It's a good time So I woke up this morning, there's a little bit of breeze, it's really not much, but it's enough to create a bit of chop, a bit of fetch down here. So of all places, I've dragged it up there, right over next to spider tree. Bits of chop are getting bigger and bigger. I'm gonna move this boat because uh, otherwise it's gonna wear a hole in it or it's gonna bloody flood it with a wave coming over sideways. So just then on the drone, when I had the drone up, just to try and get a shot of the whole setup, I saw a beautiful little bay, literally just here, just over this point. And because of where the sun was setting last night, and how late I was in running around, I somehow didn't see it. So I quickly checked there. Uh, fingers crossed I can just drive the boat around and, and anchor it up because uh, at least then I can take my time packing up because right now it's way too hectic um, it's getting smashed around it's kind of a little bit weird to think about but you know I'm kind of in, in theory I'm on a on a ridge line or on the top of a, a bit of a hill uh, because where the boat is you know only 10 meters off off the shore uh, it drops to 20 meters deep and then continues on uh, I think the deepest part that I've come across uh, yesterday was about 45, 48 meters. So we're kind of, yeah, on somewhat of a ridge line, camping on top of a hill. If you were to drain out all this water, like, you know, pre, pre damming, pre Argyle dam, uh, we're just sitting on top of a big hill and my boat's floating in midair. <laughs> uh, what I have found though, is just pretty cool, is uh, what's known as zebra rock. Now zebra rock is, only really found um, in the East Kimberley and it's pretty much puzzled geologists for, for forever and a day. Now it's a siliceous argillite they call it 
um, uh, with rhythmic patterns. So the the silicon-like substance uh, creates the zebra, the zebra ing, for lack of a better word, uh, within the rock. And it's super soft rock because it's like a you know muddy clay almost. Yeah, pretty stoked to uh, to stumble across some of this because you know I've always heard about it but never never been in an area where the zebra rock actually is. Just next to this tiny little island, it's you know 40 meters long and meter and a half wide, a uh, meter and a half high. We got this big freshie actually. It could be a Whoa. It took definitely longer than me, 2.5 metre freshie, right here, sitting in the sun. I'm gonna to have to do a big loop around these islands because it's so shallow. Well, it's not shallow, it's eight meters deep, but there's trees popping up just in the middle of nowhere. There's massive weed banks attached to the ground. So I don't wanna be stuck just, you know, kind of pulling, pulling weed and stuff off the prop every couple of minutes. So we're gonna go all the way around. Uh, it looks really nice through there just to, you know, kind of float around and flick a couple, flick a couple little light lures, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's just pretty hectic. Like I've had to quickly put the prop up as a tree just sitting under the surface, just like comes under the boat. This lake is just so bloody big. I've been motoring for like 20 minutes and like 20 knots. Absolute monster. Jesus. Go for it. She was a horse. Oh, my God. Massive. Biggest barra I've ever seen, for sure. I was told there's no barra in here. What the hell was that? <laughs> Very, very picturesque little bay here. Look at that. <coughs> nice shallow bank, but obviously where we are now, it's already two and a half meters, you know. So out two and a half, drops two and a half. A couple of freshies over there, just lurking around, their heads out of the water, getting that sun. I love when the wind stops and it's glasses off, but geez, it's cooking. We're in five to six meters of water. We've still got these coming all the way to the top, which just love to 
choke up your prop. Buck and I have had an absolute incredible day. Uh, we've explored a lot of uh, a lot of where you can get to uh, on Lake Argyle by water, and you know I'm, I'm sure we've missed a lot as well. It's uh, it's such a massive, massive uh, lake, and you know you definitely can't expect to explore it all in in a day, let alone a week. Definitely wouldn't be doing this in saltwater country. <laughs> Maybe come and grab you by the foot, pull you in. Found our island for the night and it is beautiful. Sandy shore. Um, don't need to go up there. I'm not going to go far with it. you going to stay here on this little bit of sand. Now there's some just little croc tracks here. You can see that's his, um, that's his paw there. So he's only little. But uh, I want to go up here and just make sure that he's not still here before I let Buckley off the boat. So I don't want to scare Buckley and I don't want to scare the croc either. close to that fire but They're called um, either rifle or archer fish, and what they do is they spit water. So you know, you basically, oh, <laughs> you basically, you know, put a bit of bread. Well, it's uh, it's to imitate like an insect on a tree or something like that. Whoa! Just got my camera. Hey, stay. <laughs> oh, 
got back in the face. It really is uh, so much to to explore out here on the lake. It's uh, it's pretty special. If you don't have your own boat, uh, there's you know there's Lake Argyle Cruises. Hit up Greg at Lake Argyle Cruises, and um, yeah, they take you out for the afternoon and sunset tour. It's it's pretty special. Uh, yeah, otherwise if you have your own boat, it's um it's pretty epic as well. Legends, a uh, very memorable quick trip to Lake Argyle. Uh, it's it's blown my mind in more ways than I can imagine. Uh, very 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 special place, and yeah, definitely something I won't be forgetting anytime soon. Yeah.